Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Playing some Black Ops 4 here on Nuketown. The map from 2010 makes yet again another return, this time Cold War Russia. I'm sure you guys have seen, if you're into the Call of Duty community and playing Black Ops 4, I'm sure you've seen this map already. And uh, had a Nuketown 24-7 a week, I, kind of a full week. It was, um, I think, before Thanksgiving. Um, didn't get to play during the Quad XP weekend recently because I was home uh, visiting family for the Thanksgiving break and everything. Um, but yeah, here I am. I'm using the Titan. Um, I might throw my attachments down in the description if I remember it correctly. I think it's Red Dot, Quick Draw, and Extended Mag. I think that's it. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that, but I have the um, this is I have the Diamond. Now I have the Mastercraft, but this is the Diamond on it. Obviously, it's in battery, and the kill streaks are there to the right, as you can see. This was before they switched the chopper to the higher kill streak. This is an older game, not too old, but um, at least old enough that the chopper was um before the thresher they switched the thresher and the chopper around which i don't know if i agree i mean i know that the freaking thresher's ass so they should have bumped that down but put the chopper up there i think it's like something like 16 kills in a tdm to get the goddamn chopper which was like six and seven in the earlier games but whatever um playing some domination here i got my squad playing with some friends am i i don't know actually I have so many games on my computer that are saved, a lot of Nuketown, which I'll try to space them out because I know the same map over and over and over gets stale, but of course it's Nuketown, and your boy's a dog on Nuketown, so I had to put one up. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll, this video, I guess I'll start talking about the, the current meta in the game and, and what I think it's at. Um, again, I'm, I'm recording this commentary a little while after I've played this game and record this actual gameplay, so some of the... Um, patches have come in and changed a little bit nothing too drastic where like oh my god this game went from lmgs to smgs something crazy no not at all the biggest thing i think that i've seen has been the uh, kill streak change which is honestly the first time i've ever seen that they've ever actually changed the order of kill streaks in a game i guess it was that much of a problem that big of a complaint uh, i didn't think so but then again i like to kill whore i like to get a lot of streaks so of course i like the, the good streaks lower on the kill uh, kill streak list but whatever they also, I believe in the past notes, mentioned a care package nerf, which I've seen that for sure because you just saw me get a strike team, one of the first care packages of the round, whereas now I'm getting UAVs count. Like sometimes I'll, I'll roll a UAV with the engineer, I'll re-roll and I'll get an RCXD, some bullshit. I'm like, okay, at least go up two tiers for Christ's sake. But uh, but yeah, so I'm rolling here with the LMG. I got the diamond, which uh, I, I like that it does change colors for the kill streaks because I thought when I first got diamond again, like I heard about diamond, obviously, like you know, the news is never the the games are never kind of I say fresh when they come out because there's so many channels that have early access and early news. So of course I knew there was diamond, I knew there was dark matter, all this before it even came out. And Christ's sake, I remember during launch week, I think like uh, literally a week after the game came out to the public, I saw a couple guys on PS4 already had dark matter, which I don't know how the hell that's even possible because I've been going for camos, I went for diamond for LMGs, I went for diamond for assault rifles, like kind of working towards dark matter, kind of not, but I went for the diamond on the guns that I use mostly, and uh, it, that took me a while even with diamond, so I have no idea how people are getting the knife done and pistols done and the shot, like all of this crazy shit all within a week and a half. I don't know if these people are employed, I don't know if they go to school or really what they do because this just takes so many hours of playtime and it's tedious playtime, it's hardcore domination, headshots, hardcore whatever, at least that's how I do it. If some people play core for camos, I applaud you, but to me it's going to be hardcore headshots, just get it done, so... Oh, excuse me. I ate some. What did I eat for lunch? I'm I'm in college now. I'm back to college after break, so I'm I'm in the shitty ass dining halls like usual. If you guys are in college, depending on where you go to school, if you're at a uh, unless you're at a huge state school, if you're at a slightly smaller school like I am, um, you'll know that the dining halls typically aren't the best food. So my stomach has been going off. So we'll see how that ends up later. Hopefully not too bad. But anyways, I digress. I'm out here talking about shit for Christ's sake. Um. My current opinion on this game is that it's heavily LMG focused, which, I mean, I'm not special by any means. I'm not some crazy YouTuber gamer guy that has a ton of clout or whatever that, you know, my opinion matters super, super important. And, you know, what I say is how it goes. Like, I'm not like the Mark of J where he's actually like a Call of Duty ambassador and his opinions are actually like founded in tons of experience and actual stats and shit. 
But my personal opinion, from someone who has been playing the game for quite a long time, I didn't like I didn't start MW2 hype. I started Black Ops One was the first game I ever played because you know my parents were a little bit on the on the uh, stingy side. I didn't even get my first Xbox until Black Ops One. But again, that's a whole other story for a video. But anyways, judging from or uh, coming from someone that has some Call of Duty experience and I've played the hell out of almost every game that's come out since Black Ops One. I play Black Ops One and every game since then I've played the absolute shit out of. This game, at least to me, in the way I play, which again, people have their different opinions. Some might say I camp, which I you know I like to hold down a certain like side of the map compared to a room. So I don't view that as camping as much. But then yet that's up for a personal debate or uh, personal opinion. But I feel that the game at this point, even after the nerfs, which they haven't been large nerfs, they've been somewhat small. But I feel like this game is very much an LMG game. As you can see here, like, this is the gun that I use most of the time. I get a lot of flack for. I don't have the operator mod on. I think that's dumb as hell. The oppressed or whatever it's called that you literally get suppressed if you even get shot at in the vicinity i think that's dumb as hell I, I'm, I'm gonna have a whole crit criticism video coming up later again i have a ton of gameplay to save up I, I like to play when i hop online i got a whole list of friends on which that's not been the case for some of the uh, past titles because the games have been so booty so uh, having some people to play with has been fun again so i haven't even put up a youtube video in a minute so um Anyways, I, d I do believe this game, or at least in my experience, is heavily LMG-focused. If you get some players that understand a little bit of map control and, and not to push the spawns too hard and use cover. Again, people may see that as camping. I mean, of course, when I get killed like that, I'm like, oh, this goddamn camper, blah, 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 blah. But when I'm playing like this right here, okay, of I get it. Like the longer I'm here, the more I kind of go from the I'm holding down a side for my team in like a tactical manner that I'm leaning more towards the camping side. But this is just how I play. I, of course, I have gameplay up on my channel from BO3 and other games where I was an SMG rusher. The SMGs are ass in this game unless you want to use the SOG 9 and put on uh I think it's like double quick draw and stock and run around like an absolute madman, then go for it. Like I did that in BO3. I had the scuff controllers. I had all the jumps and this, that, and the other thing. So, of course, like those games for me were more SMG focused. I mean, MW3, I was a shotgun guy of all things. MW2 was just whatever. I mean, all the guns killed. Like a couple of were absolute asshole. But you had the noob tubes. You had, you know, FAMAS. There, there, were ACR. there was a lot of guns in MW2 that were pretty OP. Um, but this game so far that I've been playing, I put, I don't know, I mean, actually I have my PlayStation on right now, it's my, my playtime. I have, okay, leaderboards. Currently right now, I only have two days on this game, which is kind of abnormal for me. I know this game has been out for a little over a month now, but um, since I have school and I, I go home for breaks, I don't want to pack up my entire setup you know for a four day break at home it's you know a little bit of a drive to get home so it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to me to pack everything up and play you know for maybe a couple hours at home and have to come back sit it all back up blah blah blah, blah. so i don't have as much play time as i usually do by this time in the release but that's just because life's different now i'm not in you know high school where i have all this time all this crazy free time to spend playing games and whatnot i got other shit to do extracurriculars and whatnot and and work and stuff being an adult i'm of course not a real adult a diet adult in college as some may view it but um still had a lot of time to, or enough time to play the game to get an idea of the meta and, and how i like to play so uh again the lmgs the titan is for sure my favorite um i've obviously used all of them i have diamonds so i've had to use all of them a second like the second best one i'm trying to think actually i mean I, having this playstation on is a nice touch i can look at what i need to look at um there's only three in this game. I almost thought there was four. Jesus Christ. I would say that the second best LMG, in my opinion, for core, it's got to be the VKM. Now, the VKM is the big one that shoots really slow. It reminds me of the um, the, the Gorgon. I, was that BO3? I think it was. Mm. I hope so. Um, the really slow, like, pop, 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 like, almost kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a semi-automatic thing at that point. Some Something that shoots super slow, but it's super strong. Um, but the Titan is definitely the best. I don't use the thermals. You can see I like to use the red dot. But um, again, if you think about it, the LMG, you have a hundred, I think I have extended mags. Let me look over my class real quick. Actually, yeah, I do. I have extended mags. So the class I run is a hundred bullets in the mag. I don't, I'm not drift. I don't know the exact, you know, damage per bullet stats or whatever. But if you think about it, if you were playing like something like Nuketown, you hide behind that Jeep and you get a head glitch going, you have a hundred rounds. You have limited recoil. I use a grip. 
a quick draw. There's not even, there isn't even like a recoil grip for this gun. I use quick draw, so it's not even a recoil grip. I use a quick draw grip. I have a hundred rounds. I think I use armor. Or no, no, I use the freaking cosmic device. I should have studied before I made this commentary. But my point is, is that you have a hundred bullets in this before you even have to zoom out technically, unless you get killed. So why would you use any other gun? Of course, if you try, if you want to be more mobile and, and do more of the objective, like actually be on the point, then yes, you want an SMG, um, maybe an assault rifle, something of that nature. But if you're just trying to hold down a side of the map for your team, or if you're trying to like go for high kill games like I like to do and with, playing with my friends, the LMG just makes sense. I mean, there's high damage. There's surprisingly high mobility. Like I have... Um, I think I put lightweight on my class. Yes, I do. I have lightweight on my class. So I can run to the spots. Quick draw helps you ready up quicker. The recoil flinch is honestly not that bad at all. I get hit two or three times, sometimes even four with a weak gun, and I can still stay on target pretty well. And I'm not a headshot from a mile away, but as you can see, like these games, I'm, I'm on. I'm on fire. You know when you're on fire, heating up. You got your accuracy's on point, but still, like. The accuracy is pretty good. The damage is phenomenal, and you have a hundred bullets. So, in your know, games that I'm have to upload yet, there'll be quad feeds, five mans, just crazy sprays because you don't have to stop. You literally just freaking unload on it. So, I think the meta's LMGs. Let me go. In, let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comments below, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a good day. Peace.